once I got the letter which stated that they're dropping me from the role of candidates and the pageant is over already, but I'm doing okay right now. At the beginning I was heartbroken because it was three days away from the coronation night that I found out about the sad news, but um, yeah, I was devastated then, but I'm okay now because as I mentioned, I'm a very positive person. I believe God has a plan for me and this might just be a blessing in disguise. Well, candidate number 13 is Sandra Nessera Vilja Seifert. She's 25 years old, born in Taiwan to a German father and um, a Filipino mother. My mom's a longa, actually. I speak five languages fluently. I have a great passion for languages, namely English, German, French, Tagalog, and Ilongo. I also studied Spanish and Italian in college and hope to perfect those two languages in the future. And uh, I come from a family of three brothers, mm -hmm. and we're quite tall, actually, all of us. <laughs> and most of us have background in modeling and commercials. And yeah, I've traveled a lot, along with my brothers, been internationally exposed. I was fortunate enough to have um, studied in the States, and I recently graduated, uh, 2008, as a registered nurse in New York, which is one of my greatest accomplishments because now I'm able to help people professionally, you know. So uh, going back, uh, so what is, what is this magazine that you put for This was a, a fashion spread for FHM. Mm -hmm. I was clothed in swimwear, mm -hmm. so there were, uh, I think, two shots in a one-piece bikini and about three in a two-piece. Initially, it was just supposed to be a portfolio mm -hmm. shoot, you know, just to update my book because I had modeled professionally prior to joining Bini Bining. But FHM had come across my photos and they asked if they could release this spread. And you know, I spoke to my mom and my family and they, although they were like, no, 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 Sandra, be careful. I was like, no, I'm a woman now. Most of my you know, previous shoots and editorials were all for uh, projecting a younger image. And yeah, I just want to hold some, so I wanted to show that I'm coming of age and yeah. I'm only going to be um, having this figure once in my life. And that's why I was like, I'm going to do it anyway without knowing that one day I was going to join a pageant. So lahat na mga babae na gusto mag join ng Binibining Pilipinas one day, I encourage you um, to always stay positive. Kawin niyo lahat. Kikinig kayo sa mami niyo kasi they know best what's right for you. And um, always try to um, live up to um, yung pagkapinay niyo, staying conservative, maintaining yung mga family values niyo. Kung pwede lang huwag kayo mag-post sa mga sexy magazines na lang muna, at least you know, before a pageant. Kailangan safe kayo. Wholesome lang yung mga editorials nila, but if you're into modeling na. Everything has a purpose. Sandra was a simple lady who wanted to bring out the best that she has for the country. She is very positive and excited to continue her modeling stint or maybe show business for the numerous offers she has at the moment. But Binibini Filipinas will always be part of her dreams that someday she can prove to the Filipinos that she has what it takes to be a beauty queen. Thank you so much to Sandra and her family for sharing their stories with us and for opening your doors to our interview. But definitely, we'll keep in touch with you and watch out for your future projects. What is important is you love what you are doing and you are happy with it. Way to go, Filipina! Oh.